Hey, what's going on guys? Hey, welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. Hey, tonight we're going to be making some venison tacos. A friend of mine, uh, James Bonnick, over at, uh, at the job, I went over there and I saw him one day and he was telling me a story about him and his son going out and uh, hunting one weekend and they shot a couple of deer. And he asked me if I wanted some of the deer meat. And I was like, oh yeah, man, I would love to cook some of that stuff on the show. So, uh, when the deer meat came back from the processing facility, he uh, gave me uh, several pounds of ground meat. He gave me a roast and he gave me a couple other pieces of meat. And uh, he said he was going to give me a, a few more uh, things when the uh, second deer comes back from the processing plant. So, so tonight we're going to be doing some venison tacos. I went to a website called uh, Deer Recipes Online. And uh, I got this recipe for venison tacos. Okay, so what we're going to do tonight, and this is uh, how our ground meat came from the, uh, the deer processing facility. Uh, it's supposed to be one pound or 16 ounces. It actually comes out to about uh, 15 point. Uh, two ounces al almost one pound so uh, I weighed it uh, earlier today so we're going to be cooking this now what we're going to be doing using is um, now you can for this recipe you can you go out and buy your own taco mix if you want to but I used the taco mix that was on the recipe I'm gonna give you a, a quick look at this in the bowl and this is the list of ingredients okay so in this we have uh, chili powder and ground cumin paprika some cayenne pepper some uh, garlic powder, onion powder, some dried oregano, and some kosher salt. Okay, so I'll put all the exact measurements down in the description block where you can check it out. Plus, I'll put the link to uh, Deer Recipes online down in the description box so you can go check that out. So, uh, let's go ahead and get started. So, the first thing we need to do is brown our meat. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and brown our venison. We got it out of the pack. Go ahead and Put it in our pot and we're going to break it up. Uh, I don't want this to be too high, so I'll reduce this down some. And we're just going to brown this for about 10 minutes or so. Now, keep in mind that venison is very lean, so you may not get a whole lot of grease from your ground meat, depending on uh, if the processing plant mixed it with anything or if it's, this is just pure venison, okay? So we'll go ahead and brown this. All right, so our meat is now brown. It's been about 10 minutes or so. And we do have some uh, grease down in the bottom of the pot, so we're gonna go ahead and drain that a little bit. We're gonna drain off as much of this grease as we can. Okay, so now that we've drained off the excess grease, we're going to go ahead and add our, our taco season that we made. And this had a whole bunch of great seasons in it, even some cayenne pepper. I started to do my own little doctoring up, but I wanted to go ahead and follow the recipe. And we got one fourth cup of water. All right. So we're going to mix this together just like we would mix any other taco meat for for tacos and let it simmer let these ingredients and these flavors all meld together so we'll be right back with our final steps and our taste test so hang around okay so our ground meat and our taco seasoning and the water have all melted together it smells fantastic as you can see it's all nice and brown so we're going to remove this from the heat and we're going to warm our tortillas okay so we'll put this over here and we'll get us another small pan. And we're going to be using this to warm our tortillas right quick. And we're using flour tortillas. Now you can use whatever taco shells that you want. The hard shells, the corn shells. But the recipe calls for flour tortillas. So that's what we're going to do. So we'll go ahead and heat these up right quick. And we'll go ahead and put this bad boy together for you. And we're going to show you what it tastes like. Okay, so we've... Warmed our tortilla shell, put a little tortilla flip on it, and now we're gonna go ahead and make our, tort our, our venison taco. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do now, the instructions said put the cheese on last and then throw it in the oven and let the cheese melt and all that kind of stuff, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna put my cheese on first so it's at the bottom, so hopefully the meat will 
melt the cheese a little bit. All right, let me get my other spoon here. All right, so we're gonna put it down some of our, our venison meat. All right, put a little bit more in there just so we can get a real good taste. All right, outstanding. And a few strips of lettuce. And a few pieces of tomato. Now the wife said, well, where's the taco sauce? But I was like, I just want to taste it au naturel right now. Maybe later on I'll add some sauce to the mix, okay? So let's go ahead and have our taste test. Okay. All right, so the taco came out fantastic. I love the way the venison meat tastes. It doesn't have any of that gaminess that you would normally get from wild game. Uh, it tastes fantastic. I'm not sure if the processing place mixed it with anything. Um, James didn't tell me whether or not they did or not. All I know is it has some great flavor to it. Uh, it's not uh, as, you know, like pork meat when you're doing ground meat, it may be a, a little bit more juicier because it's got a little bit more of a grease factor, more of a fat content in it. This one here is much more leaner, so the uh, consistency of the ground meat is maybe uh, a tad uh, drier than I'm used to with uh, ground uh, meat uh, or regular ground, ground beef, but uh, it still tastes fantastic. And the flavors from that recipe for the taco rub was real good. If I didn't do anything else, uh, the recipe uh, called for us to use uh, regular salt. Uh, as usual, I always cook with kosher salt because I can control the salt content. Um, so what we're going to do is you might need a little bit more salt in this just to kind of balance out the flavors. But I think if you put a little bit of uh, taco sauce on here, some salsa or something, I think it would be a fantastic dish. So, well, that's all we have time for tonight. We want to do some quick venison tacos. I want to thank James out there for giving us this venison meat we're going to be doing several more deer cooks we're doing making some venison burgers and we're going to be cooking a venison roast and things of nature in the upcoming weeks so well like we always say where there's smoke there's fire and if it's fire then damn it there just might be a barbecue there hey check out uh, deerrecipesonline.com see you guys around the smoker <laughs>